Where am I going? I'm going into my coat. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be doing a coat haul. Yes, that's right, it's autumn slash winter coat time. Let's go. How many times do I say perfect coat in this haul video, guys? All of these coats, apart from this one, which was gifted to me, are from Next. Let's start with this one. I'm a bit puffer jacket averse. I remember having like a black, big ass puffer jacket when I was a child. I loved it, it was nice and warm, but I did look a bit crazy, like that big like Michelin man walking along and it just didn't suit me and I just looked stupid. But this year I was like, come on Emily, let's do it. Let's go for this fear of puffer jackets and let's commit, let's try it. I saw this one and I just love the color. I think it's blush pink, rusty pink, rusty pink. It might have been called rusty pink. It was a color term that I'd not heard before and I thought, oh, that does suit that, rusty pink. Hmm. I remember the day after ordering it, I went to bed and I was like, why did I order that coat? It's not gonna look nice. Oh, I love it. It's probably the coat I wear the most at the moment. For a puffer jacket, it's, it's warm, but it's not overly warm. So I would say for autumn slash winter, it's pretty good. For the depths of winter, I have better options for you, but this is good for a very cold autumn day, but not like a winter cold day. You got me? Not like hunker down, the blizzard's coming kind of warm. I think this rusty thing's really nice. It's a nice kind of take on that blush pink, which is more summer and spring. It's the kind of comparison for autumn and winter. That's about all I got to say on that coat. Here's a little clip of me dancing in it. for this one next. This is the second puffer coat that I brought and it's this nice wine burgundy colour. Hmm. I bought this one as like a, another one because I love that one so much and this one I managed to get in a tall everybody. So this one's definitely like long enough for my arms and it's great and this one is a winter coat. This one is the storm's coming. I put on my puffer jacket. That's this one everyone. Yes. I like this one as well because oh Oh, oh, I got it, I got it. Because, oh, this rustling's annoying, that's the thing I don't like with puffer jackets. Rustle, rustle, rustle. And, hot tip, rucksacks, useless. They slide off as you're walking along, sliding down my shoulders. So, maybe don't wear a rucksack with them. Or, I don't know what sort of material, sort of, what sort of material <laughs> do you need to stop it sliding off, but, my faux leather backpack just like slips and slides all over the place on these jackets. So I need to work that out because I like a good rucksack for winter. You want your arms free, they're cold. You need to nussle up amongst yourself. Sorry, I veered off somewhere. Let's get back to the coat in hand. This one I like because it has a nice fluffy hood. Do you like a little bit of fluff? And yeah, it's just really, really warm. Even around the sleeves, you can tell it's a winter, winter coat because it has these nice, like, I don't know what this bit's called. Stretchy material on the wrists. And because it's a long, it comes nicely down my arm. Whereas this one doesn't have that nice little insole. It's just ends. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but this one has this bit. And it shines really lovely as well. I do like this nice glisten. So that is coach number two on my haul. I'm not gonna do that one till last. No, I can tease you. This is my more smart coat, my more kind of work coat. They're all from Next, but this one's actually an F&F, &F, so a Tesco buy. I got it in navy blue. I'm, I'm trying to veer off black. I like black, don't get me wrong. I am a black wearing lover. I mean, I'm wearing a black top right now underneath this. So I'm definitely not against black, but I just thought black coat, so I've got a black and white cat and 
It's not ideal. His hair gets everywhere. I thought maybe a nice navy. Double breasted, single breasted. It's got some breasts on it, I don't know. What is it? Just this formal coat would be nice. And also, because my hair is, it, my hair is brown, but it looks very black. And when I wear black, it kind of just like gets engulfed into the item of clothing that I'm wearing. So I thought navy would be just enough to let it pop, 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 pop. This coat was dead cheap. Now I've got it on, because I've got bare arms, it's a bit itchy. It's one of those like itchy coats. It's winter, so the likelihood of me having short sleeves is lesser. So it's probably not a problem. But if you're someone in winter who normally wears short sleeves and a bungs of coat on, probably not gonna like this one, because it is uncomfortably itchy. I might take it off. It's got a single button. It's just the one. It's a nice little button. It's quite a boring basic coat. It's got pockets. Oh, they're still stitched up. Let's rip them open. I can't do that with this hand. I'm apparently too weak. This one I think was like £22. It wasn't very expensive at all. This is why I was like, eh, give it a go. I'm happy with it. It's a pretty boring coat, but it's a nice coat. I think maybe a nice red scarf for something to kind of pop on the top of it will look really good. That's that go done. Let's do this one. This coat was a gift to me from Richard and I don't know if it's from Amazon or AliExpress, I'm not sure, it just says fashion, extra large. Oh, there you go, that's what it says. What's the talk, I thought a monkey, gorilla. It's a nice gorilla crop. Now, I'm not sold on this coat, not gonna lie. Like right now, I look badass, don't I? Hells yeah. I'm just snuggled in my coat. It's poofy. <laughs> it's really short on my arms though. And it's this crop length as well. So I'm not quite sure when or where or how I'm gonna wear it. And because it's so heavy, it needs to be done up. Otherwise it ends up like flopping everywhere. It just looks a bit stupid. <laughs> it's ridiculous. As a generic black fur doe pass coat, this one is pretty cool. <laughs> It is very furry. It's quite warm as well, actually. I do like it. Where am I going? I'm going into my coat. I didn't know what else to say, that's why I'm just chit-chatting. Here's me dancing. We're coming to the end, woohoo! This pink one, which is in the polythene still, is a nice wool blend formal coat. Now, I have a pink one that I bought last year from Primark, which I love. Even though this one's pretty much the same, it's definitely a better, higher quality coat. The detailing is lovely. I will show you the detailing in the video. What nice detailing. It's this nice crisscross, light pink, darker pink. It has two buttons and some nice flip floppy pockets. Are they real pockets? I don't know. Oh, well, they are the stitchings and I've got a finger in. This one is quite expensive, uh, 62 pounds. Mm, it is expensive, but coats, coats can be really expensive. So actually 62, I feel like is a bit midline. It's an all right price for a good quality coat. It is a good quality coat. So I'm happy with this one. It's a nice replacement. I will show you a picture of me dancing in this and dancing in my Primark version, just so you can have a little comparison.
I don't really know why I put this one in this haul because this was a hammy down. So this is a Boohoo Man jumper. It's not a jumper, it's a coat. It's a coat haul, Emily. It's a coat. It's one of those like, you know, cool kids, cool boy, cool boy jackets. Is that a thing? I don't know. I like it because it's long enough in my arms, but it is black and it's already kind of covered in cat hair. Occupational hazard of having a cat. But this is really warm. I mean, it's not waterproof. I would say this is more of a jumper than a jacket, but it does work as a jacket. If I was just like, I don't know, nipping to the shop, I'd probably wear this over a fancy dress if I was going somewhere and felt like I was being a bit cool, but not that cool. Yeah, I reckon that's where I'd wear it. I like it, I like this jacket. I think doing odd jobs around the house, if you're just nipping in and out of the garden or something, the perfect jacket for that. That's this, this man jacket that I got. That's my jacket haul, everyone. That is it. There's gonna be a lookbook coming out. I don't know why I did that. Lookbook, woo! Let me know what you think. Which one was your favorite? Have you got one similar? Have you got a coat that you think that is a girl on the get-go coat? Tell Emily, she'll love this coat. Do, do tell me, I might love it. Have you got a fur coat? Ooh. Please let me know if you find a burnt orange coat that you think I'd love. Because when I started out on this haul video, that is the thing that I was like, I really want a burnt orange coat. I failed on that. So if you find one, if you could give me a heads up, that would be amazing. Like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Keep your eyes open for that look, but remember, bye.